I want to show you another example of how Select and Speak can work on Libby, which is uh, made by Overdrive. Overdrive is a, probably the best um, online digital support for books. Now this is tied to your library card. So once students need to have a library card and they can search their local library and have books delivered to them directly. And so I'm actually going to use the LibbyApp.com and we'll go there now. Once after I've logged in to Libby um, and put in my my library card, I have um, three different books. Uh, the options, <clears throat> unfortunately, this magazine is not readable and I couldn't even get it to read well with another text reader. So magazines, they need to work on those. But I have uh, two books here um, and I can read it with my Kindle, which I know when I select that, I go to Amazon and I can read now in the Kindle app. And I don't have the Kindle app uh, installed, so it's going to use the cloud service. I'll go down and select the icon for Select and Speak, highlight my text. You get the idea. So it works very well in the Kindle in the Kindle app version from the library. If we go back to our, our loan section and just read, for instance, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, um, which the, uh, the font used is, is, I would say, non-traditional. And so, but it still works reasonably well. So there's the uh, how you can use um, Select and Speak to really make um, reading quite pleasurable for students. So I would, one, get them a library card. Two, make sure that they have Select and Speak installed on their Chromebook and they can begin to uh, borrow books from their local library and hopefully enjoy the reading experience.